Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, and I told you, Monday or Tuesday, we'll do the Pack UI video, you know, a guide on how to set up Pack UI on your Trim UI brick. Uh, lucky I waited because, as you can see right here, they just released version 1.2 11 hours ago. So, if I would have done this yesterday morning, it would have been pointless. So, you're going to head over to GitHub to get Pack UI. That's the first thing you're going to do. Go to releases, and I always click on releases so I can see everything they've done, everything that's changed. And if you need help, let's do this. Let's see if I can get the focus on that. There it is. GitHub.com forward slash 10 levels forward slash pack UI forward slash releases. Back out. Okay. And that'll take you to this page <clears throat> where you see Pack UI version 1.2, how to update. Now, we're going to do this from the point of view of not updating, but, you know, first time setup. So go down here, scroll to the bottom, and you'll see assets. You want Pack UI version 1.2 zip. Download that. All right, let me jump over here to my file explorer. I've moved it. All right. I normally create a desktop folder for everything, uh, which I've already done and moved it to it. So on this folder is where I put the download. There it is. Pack UI version 1.2 zip. Now I went ahead and extracted it using 7-zip. So that's still the zip file. We don't need that anymore. You can realistically remove it. When you move these files over, do not drag that one. Okay. Now, stop there. Get out your SD card. If you're using a 32 gig, you're fine. If you're using above that, you're going to need to format it in FAT32. For this, I'm going to use Rufus. I gen generally use uh, GUI format because it's easier, but we're going to use Rufus. Rufus is free, so you can go ahead and get it. Uh, it's already seen it's already selected here my non-labeled 64 gig bullshit card that i use and i've used for stuff like this under boot selection non-bootable everything else can stay the same if you want to name it go ahead and name it where it says volume label uh, file system large fat 32 and that's all you need to change like i said if you want to if you want to change the label change the label I'm just going to leave it as is. And then you're going to hit start. Yes, I know it's going to erase everything. It should be a very quick process. There it is. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to jump over here. 64. You know what? I don't want to do it with this one. Uh, so let's do... Did you go to sleep on I think much of you I want to sleep. So what you're going to do from this point, this is what it looks like after you've formatted it with Rufus. So this is inside your SD card. And what you'll do is you'll select all these all the way down to the MinUI compressed file. So you do want the MinUI zip. You don't want the Pack UI version 1.2. Okay, that's where all these came from. You can delete that. I just don't delete them. That way I have them. You know, I'd rather just keep the zip myself. You can grab the README if you want. It just kind of explains things. It's like an overview. Uh, I generally don't take the README. But you'll want all these ones with the dot in front of it for damn sure. So let's zoom in a little bit. All right, you can see them. Dot pack UI, dot res, dot trim UI, dot user data. So you want everything from here down to main UI. I'm going to leave out, like I said, 1.2 zip and README. Now you'll drag and drop these over to your SD card. If you have the auto run stuff showing up on your SD card, leave it. It's fine. Drag and drop these over. It's going to take a couple minutes. Okay. Now we're going to skip that because I think it's eight to 10 minute process. Five, we'll say five to 10 minute process right there doing that. So what I'm going to do is skip ahead, remove that. Put in my actual SD card, and we'll 
walk you through it. All right. So after you move everything over, this is what you should have. Let's get rid of that. So as you see, I've already labeled it. This is my pack UI SD card. So you'll be greeted with all this on there. Now, before you even stick it in the trim UI brick, all right? So all we've done is extracted it. Let me pull that back up for a second. All we've done is download. We've downloaded pack UI version 1.2. We've extracted it. We've moved those files over to our SD card. We've waited to five, 10 minutes, and this is where we're at. So the first thing I do at this point is BIOS. Now I pretend like you haven't even stuck it in your handheld yet. You don't need to, you can do this all in one shot. So go into your BIOS. Here's all your folders for your systems. Gen generally, you do not need Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. It'll run fine without it. I like adding it myself. I don't know why I just do. The only one I really focus on is PlayStation. Now, I have a big BIOS folder I keep on my external, so I just grab all my, I just like quick move everything, and yeah, it grabs all three of those. You don't need all three, but I, I don't know why I just do it. So that's all you really need. Uh, if you're going to use Dreamcast, things like that, you might want a Dreamcast BIOS. Not that it's supported. As you can see, there's no dream. You can't. There's no real Dreamcast here, so I don't need to really go over that. But if you have another handheld that does run Dreamcast, you will want a Dreamcast BIOS. Okay. So now we go into ROMs. Now inside of ROMs, leave BitPal alone. They've moved BitPal into the ROMs folder. It's no longer just in the apps section. It's in the ROMs folder. So once you get to this point, you're gonna move your games over okay you just drag and drop them move them into their appropriate folder sega there we go there we go all that stuff all right now once you've done this process and if you do like i did where i overloaded it with playstation it's going to take you 30 45 okay bigger the file longer to transfer right so once we're done make sure you hit eject i'm stupid so i just yank it so now, you've downloaded Pack UI. You've downloaded Pack UI. You've extracted it. You've moved everything to your SD card. You've put your BIOSes on it. You've put your ROMs on it. Now you're ready to put it in your Trim UI brick. And if you're curious about my card, I wrote a little symbol there so I know it's Pack UI on this card. I also have another card that's labeled for Next UI. Which at this point, I don't really need next UI. Uh, originally, if you've seen my other video on it, I did it that way because I didn't think Pack UI had LED control. So I wasn't going to use it. Um, but since I found it mid video last time, I really don't need my next UI card. All right, now we're going to turn it on. There I am in the back looking all ragamuffin, hair all wild and crazy. This long hair thing is new to me driving me crazy i every day i just want me take it back down so but it's like a company thing now like everybody in my company is doing it mainly because the owner of this company has always had long hair so all right here we are so you turn it on yours will boot up a little slower because it's got to install everything and run the process once it does that you'll be greeted right here you won't see recently played that was just me making sure the bios went to the right place so you'll see bit pal and everything first thing i'm going to do and now this is as far as i've gone myself all i did was set up my card test playstation to make sure it was reading one of the bios files and not having an issue with three <laughs> because i don't know why i do that so we're going to go into tools and we're going to check out pack manager pack ui welcome thank you thank you so what do we got gaming media what's under utilities files input over there update i'm just looking to see where there we are so we're going to install leds successfully install 
Okay, so I should be able to back up. There we go. Now I'm just in tools and LED shows up. Bleep, install. It's that fast. Now my LEDs are lit up. Colors. What do we feel like today? Let's do white and purple. What's magenta look like? Uh, I don't like that. I can do multicolor. I'm going to lower the brightness. You can change effects. You can change zone colors, whatever. All that stuff. Standby, a little battery indicator. So, there we are. Now we have our LEDs set up. Now, because the Wi-Fi at my office is open, the last version of PacUI would not let me connect to it because it didn't have a password. I'm going to actually attempt this right now. I am going to do it off of camera because if I go into Wi-Fi, there's too much info revealed for the company I work for, and I don't want that to be a conflict, because believe it or not, some of the people I work for actually watch my videos, and you never know when someone you work with decides they want to, you know, come at you and, and get you fired or something. So, not that I'm an easy one to get fired. Trust me, it would take a lot. I would have to do something serious. But, for safety, I'm going to move it off camera, and we'll see if it'll let me connect to a Wi-Fi with no password. All right, Wi-Fi is enabled, no networks connected. I'm just going to read off the screen as I go. I'm now scanning. <sighs> scanning. All right, there's my Wi-Fi with no password. It also has all my personal information, like mother's maiden name, social security. No, I'm kidding. Enter password. I'm just going to hit confirm. No password entered. Nope. Not connected. So, still can't do it with no Wi-Fi password, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Okay. I know a lot of people are like, well, why would you have an open Wi-Fi? Well, I have an open Wi-Fi because this is a business and we work on computers and things. And people bring computers in and I'd rather have just open Wi-Fi so every time I don't have to punch in a damn password, when I show them, all they did is enable airplane mode and that's why the Wi-Fi is not working. All right. So now we've done all that. Pack UI is installed. I'll show you where to put the BIOS. I've showed you where to put your ROMs. You should be off to the races, but let's turn on BitPal. And I feel bad because my BitPal is like level five or six. Yep. And now my BitPal is starting over. Let's see. Gaming fact. I want to see the gaming fact. Focus. Uh, let's see. If you approach the princess in the fighting stance, she knocks you out and the game ends. That's kind of cool. Makes me want to play that game. BitPal, level one and happy. Now this, I really just want to see, since it's version 1.2, I want to see if BitPal being moved to the ROMs folder, see if he targets my BIOS files like he was in the original version. I've also set up a different card. Um, and for some reason, that card, BitPal never had an issue with it. Like, he never seen the BIOS files. So I'm really curious why that is. Maybe I had a, a copy accidentally highlighted when I moved ROMs over. I don't think so, but we're checking on this one to see. We're going to start new mission. Yep, yeah, still. It's not, you know, it takes a minute when you select it. It, like, loads. I don't know why my camera's being a bitch. But if you see the screen shaking, it's because I'm tapping the damn phone to make it focus. All right. Choose your mission, BitPal submissions for you. Select one to begin. Stack up to five, so you can still do that. Play a game from Sega. Play Kid Icarus. Surprise game. All right. We're going to pick surprise game. Last time I picked surprise on version one, my surprise was PlayStation BIOS. All right. I always hit up the check. Mission 1 accepted. Surprise game. Rewards 192 XP. Game switcher will be disabled. Let's start. What did you pick? I like how it loads like right into the game. Best of the best. Nintendo. I don't know if I could play this for any length of time. <laughs> oh, God. I'm bad at this game. Let's just jump into a match. 
I get my ass kicked every time. I'm really bad at this game. Go. Oh, yeah. Get sweep. What's up? I'm on the left, and I'm going to get my ass kicked. Oh, wait. It's Nintendo. I don't have X and Y. Oh, he just kicked me in the face. Get off me, dude. What? How did my kick not take him down? Ooh, in the face. Stop. Go. Yeah. Well, I'm get okay. So the lights up top are like your health indicator, and obviously he's kicking my ass. This game is ridiculous, man. I can sweep the shit out of him and just keep him on the ground, but apparently that's not doing any real damage. Look at the light up there. It's hardly moved. Come here. I'll fucking make you crippled when this is over. That's right. You'll never be able to run outside with your children. You won't be able to play ball with them. You have to sit inside. The lower half of your body won't work. Your wife will leave you because you're a dickless loser. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry. Getting too excited about the game. I'm assuming I'm going to not complete it if I hit quit. Because that was not long. Yeah. And I'm guessing if I hit mission one, it's just going to load back up in it. Yep. Chances are to beat mission one, I'm probably just going to leave it on this screen and let it go. All right, guys. So that was Pack UI and me getting my ass kicked at best of the best on Nintendo and talking shit to a little virtual opponent. Um, yeah. If you have any issues, if you have any questions, if you're running any probable, you know, any, any problems. I was saying probably and problems at the same time. Uh, if you run into any problems, contact someone who cares because it's not me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. I, if you have problems, do like everybody else does. Hit up my comments. I'll do my best to help you out. But if you follow my instructions, although some of them are vague and short and just kind of an abridged version like I did for like uh, Moo OS, you shouldn't run into any problems. Everything should be pretty simple. Drag and drop, drag and drop, unzip, drag and drop, drag and drop, done. Okay? Well, get on there. Play with BitPal. Pick surprise games. See what they give you. I mean, it's a good way to discover more of your library of games, you know. I'm sure all of us, most of us, have, you know, a couple thousand games on our device especially if you're like me and you did your own list and because you, you don't like the jumbled mess that comes with these things uh even though i have my own curated list of games if you look at like my nintendo or my game boy i have hundreds of those and most of them i've never even looked at okay i've probably i probably watched a video or scrolled through a repository somewhere seen pics on it thought that looked cool added it to my library but i've never touched it never turned it on and BitPal is a good way to rediscover everything you have. Uh, and that's what I like about Pack UI. I think that's a great feature that is... Yeah, that's the main thing I want out of it. Is, is something like that to help me discover things. To force me to do that. Uh, even though I could just leave it on the menu and let it sit there if I wanted to. But, hey, you never know. Maybe I find something I truly love. Uh, last time it had me play uh, Zen... The intergalactic ninja on game boy i played that start to finish on BitPal, like and it's not even like an amazing game it was just it was pretty cool i liked it i enjoyed playing through it so i beat it uh, you never know what you'll find all right guys hit me up in the comments let me know if this is something you're gonna do let me know if you have issues with pack ui uh if you already have pack ui and you don't feel like updating or don't want to update that's whatever or if you have updated let me know what level is your BitPal. Let's see who we got. Let's see if anybody in the comments has a BitPal at a higher level or not. Uh, I know I'm going to keep working mine up. Hopefully get them back up to level five or six, wherever the hell I was, and go from there. All right, guys. I will see you in the next episode.